Yes, that's right. And right now I'm here with Lisa from Dry Effect and we are talking about mold. Now, mold is something you don't want to mess with. So first and foremost, how does it affect our health and when does it become a problem? You know, the first signs a lot of times we hear of affecting someone's health is asthma, respiratory complaints. Uh, so as simple as sneezy, itchy eyes, runny nose. So a lot of times when obviously the weather's changing, you're gonna have those symptomatic responses anyhow, but that could be a trigger response to mold if uh, in fact it's not allergy season. And in the home, what are um, some indications that prove that you might have it? What are some signs? Visual, you know, uh, so water staining, a lot of times could be meaning that you have something interior of your wall or your ceiling that needs to be addressed. But visual signs of mold or something that looks like mold uh, would definitely get checked out. Once you start to see those signs, that's signs to start testing, what are the differences between a DIY kit and a professional service? Now your DIY kits um, are a little bit different in the aspect that's a petri dish. So that's gonna sit wherever you place it for an extended amount of time, and then it's gonna be covered up, incubated for 24 hours, 48, depending on what type of test, and then sent to a lab if you want further analysis. But know that the analysis is not part of the original call. So that's gonna be additional. So ours, we're gonna use a bio pump and actually put it on a tripod in the middle of the room or whatever area of concern, as well as with aerosol. So that's gonna measure what you're actually breathing in. So once you go through all of this testing, is this something that I should attempt to clean myself? Potentially. So if it's a minimal area, and what we consider minimal uh, is under 10 square feet, and that's set by the standard of our industry. But if it's over that, why is it important to call on someone like Dry Effect? You could have the potential of contaminating other areas of your home or yourself. Um, and that's the last thing you want to do is affect uh, health-wise when you can call a professional and have it done right the first time. and keep those calls down. Keep the calls down, keep the mold away. Yes. <laughs> How do we prevent the mold from regrowing? So humidity is usually a big issue. So having a dehumidifier running, um, especially in basements, obviously in Cincinnati area, we're known to have basements, having those addressed. Any water intrusion areas or water leaks, having that uh, addressed in a you know, timely manner. And now Lisa is going to test the professional service and the DIY kit, and we're gonna get the results and we look forward to seeing them. So stay tuned for that. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Okay, so now to give a little context again, Lisa, you had performed a DIY test and your professional service test, and the results are in. What are they? The DIY test, you, you know, compared to our test, did essentially what they said they were going to do, show if there was mold present. Um, unfortunately, mold is present everywhere, so it really didn't give us any conclusive information of how to address the issue. So we're kind of left at square one. Yeah, so what do you do if you're in that situation? Essentially call the professionals, you know, let them come out, check out the issue, see if there really is an issue, um, and then get a plan of attack. Now, in a time like this, too, with a lot of people home, are, what are your concerns for the families in these homes that might have mold? And then how are you approaching it? You know, unfortunately, we're occupying every square inch of the home, you know, we're trying to, one, set up home offices, our kids' playroom, their school area, you know, I mean, we're really kind of busting at the seams. So basements maybe utilize that typically aren't. Um, they may have issues and you don't know. Um, and you may not realize until kind of, unfortunately, we get after the fact of, uh, you know, occupying those spaces. Yeah, so, and moral of the story, your inspection is much more thorough. Exactly, and essentially, you're not gonna waste any money testing if it really is not necessary. All right, Lisa, well, we appreciate you sharing the results and hopefully this can help some people at home. Thank you.